Hey Life Path number 8, welcome back to Natural Nail Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot. It's been a cool little minute that I'm back. Dedicated to getting these messages out for these Life Path numbers. Um, with that being said, we're going to get started. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring life path number eight to energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, spirit. We're gonna go with uh we're gonna go over current energy, blockages, focus, and energy coming towards you. This is your current energy. That's a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and take it because I did the same thing for number six. A bunch of cards flew out and um, I'm going to go ahead and take it. You might not be able to see this. And we have the six of cups. We have the world. Is this camera a little blurry? I don't know. We have the will of fortune. We have temperance and the six of swords. Give me a second because this is a whole bunch of cards that flew out. This is your current energy. All right, number eight. Now, there are some cycles you've broken. There are some cycles that, that have been broken and, and some things that have come into balance. But it's, now it's like um, you have a fear of moving forward. Wondering if you'll make the right decisions. Just a fear of, you know, will I do this right? Will I choose right this time? What's these cycles? What's this, this bill of fortune spirit? It could be people that you were giving your energy to that you didn't didn't need to give your energy to or, you know, um, and of course, we all are going through experiences that we have to go through in order to um, grow. But you may have been giving your time and energy to people. You may have been spending too much money, um, just not just in the unknown, just there was a, um, a genuine I want to say ignorance there where you were giving your time, energy or money to things that weren't benefiting you. So what are the blockages for number eight? We have the Hierophant. I have to do y'all spread a little different because all these cards came out for current. So y'all spread going to look a little different from the others. Blockages, the Hierophant, what else, Spirit? The Six of Wands, okay. Spirit is saying you having trouble understanding that you learned from your lessons, like that you, you have learned, you have conquered the lessons. There's a fear of moving forward. There's a fear of, will I choose right? Will I do right? And Spirit wants you to know that you've learned from these lessons. Look, we got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You, you've been questioning yourself, like, almost um, just questioning your moves, questioning the next move, like, am I going to do this right? But Spirit is saying that you've learned. You've learned. Let's see what the Six of Wands is. The Three of Pentacles. You know better now. You know who to deal with, who not to deal with. You know what to give your money to, what not to give your money to. Look, <laughs> we got justice at the bottom of the deck. You know better. You good, number eight. You know, stop questioning yourself. And I and I can understand a number eight questioning themselves like this because y'all are leaders. Y'all carry um similar energy energy to number ones. So y'all are leaders. Y'all are like um if you ain't gonna do it right, don't do it. You know, like uh, I'ma do it. Y'all are leaders. You know, so. 
you just want to make sure your next move is your best move. But Spirit is saying you've learned the lesson. You have learned. There's a balance present right now. All right, what is the focus for number eight? We have the three of wands. The page of wands. And the king of wands. Okay, it's a lot of passion here. A lot of passion. So spirit is saying move forward with all this passion that you are that you possess, move forward. Move it forward, number eight. You got it. You good. Move forward. That's all I can say right now. It's like move forward with this passion that you possess. It's there. You learned the lesson. Spirit said you are ready to go with this. You're ready to call it in. You're ready to go. You're ready to set sail. Like you are ready with the okay, the three of wands and the page of wands. You know, the three of wands is the energy of like somebody waiting for their ships to come in, but the page of wands is ready to go. So you are ready to move forward. You don't have to question if you're going to make the right decision. The king of wands is a very determined energy. You're going to get what he want, when he want it. You know what I'm saying? Like you ready to go. You've been holding back with this four of pentacles. You holding back. Because you scared to make the wrong move. But you ready to go. You ready to go. You got the information that you need. You have the new beginning that you need. It was hard getting here. You went through a lot. You know, I see it in your current energy that you went through a lot to get here. You took some losses. Um, you cut some cords. You broke some cycles. It was hard. But you are ready to go. Okay. All right. So let's get some advice from spirit what advice do we have expansiveness hold on let me let me close the door because somebody coming in and i don't want the noise to hold up i'm recording Okay, expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhaustive ego. You ready to go. So, um, it could be your ego making you feel like, well, I don't want to do that, or I don't want to make that move, or I don't want to make that decision. Um, let that go. Release that. Because you're ready to move forward. And... And the King of Wands can be a little prideful. So just be sure that moving forward, you're moving forward without ego. Release that ego. There's no, you don't have to carry a sense of pride um, in regards to what you went through. You don't have to be um, closed off. You don't have to be... Don't be scared to make a move because of pride. Don't be scared to make a move or move forward because you so badly don't want to make the wrong decision. You've learned your lesson. The doubts and fears still come. I ain't crazy, okay? The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they are you. It's time to let that fear go. You good, number eight. You got this. All right, um, Starseed Oracles for number eight. Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. You did that. You can see now, you can see where you wasn't supposed to be. You can see what you weren't supposed to be doing, who you weren't supposed to be giving energy to, where you weren't supposed to be spending money. All of these things, you can see it. It's clear. Now take off. Take off number eight. All right. Any major arcana to clarify the entire reading? All right. The magician. You have all you need. And one more spirit. Okay. 
K2 came out temperance and we have the emperor we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck so you have everything you need be patient with yourself um, be patient with this new form of control and power that has come into your life um, be patient with that because when we talked about this pride and this ego thing, um, you know, you really want to find balance with that power. I understand you don't want to make the, the wrong move. So find balance in that power. Uh, be sure about your intentions. Intentions are everything. You know, a lot of people talk about life being about perspective, and it is. But don't forget intentions. Intentions are everything. So with this, you you gained a lot of power from the things that you learned, from the things that you've gone through. Make sure the intentions behind that power that you possess, you know, it, it's with a good intent. And in that way, moving forward, you, you won't make the wrong decision. You've learned your lesson. And you may have in the past... Uh, made decisions out of pride and that didn't pan out or didn't work or didn't thrive so you know just release the ego and the pride and and move forward you good number eight that is all that i have for your reading and until next time come again